No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter how long you're gone, I'm always gonna want you back. I don't, don't know, I can never get over you. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. What's up guys, Sam Wilde here from Guitar Legend and today we're going to be looking at Want You Back by 5 Seconds of Summer. Now we don't have a capo which is great because most of you moan if there's a capo. So there's no complaining there and we only have 4 chords to learn. We have A minor, G, E minor, F. Okay, uh, most of you probably know these chords so if you want to skip ahead to all the rhythm stuff then you can do that. Uh, if you don't know them, then I'll show you them quickly. I say quickly because this is a video so you can pause it and work on the chords yourself. Don't forget that. So, A minor is our first chord. We have open A, middle finger second fret on the D string, third finger second fret on the G string, first finger first fret B string, open E. Okay. We don't play this bottom E, so you can bring your thumb down just to stop that from ringing. Just kind of touch it with your thumb. Okay, the next chord. Uh, now, G for G major, most of you probably know it as this, or this, or this, or this. But for this song, just try really hard not to hit the E string, and we can play a nice easy version with just two fingers. So we have third finger, third fret on the E string, second finger, second fret on the A string. And the rest is open. Apart from the E, try not to hit that. You can always have your fourth finger on the third fret if you keep hitting the E string by mistake. But I tend to just, just try not to hit the E string, you're good. Next we have E minor, which is basically the same but instead of G, you bring your third finger and you put it underneath the middle finger. So now the third finger is second fret on the D string. The rest is open. Okay, so again, pause the video, take your time with each chord. And then the last one is F. Now you can play either F major or F sus. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll show you F major though, that's a safer bet. So we have 3rd finger 3rd fret again on the A string. We have 4th finger 3rd fret on the D string, middle finger 2nd fret on the G string, and then 1st finger 1st fret on the B string. So for the intro, nice and simple, we have one strum per chord, but we play And then the same thing for the verse, so can help but a one lord bring this this the last time that I'll see your face. Is it it's just a in brain shock to say something? Sometimes it doesn't sound insane, but lady, I don't trust my brain. You tell me I will never change, so I just say nothing. So that's quite simple that first part, just bling bling. Okay, you can do that for the whole of the first verse. You could even do that for the second verse if you want to, but I'm gonna show you a different rhythm for that, just to keep the momentum going. Now, when we get to the pre-chorus, unless you wanna call it the chorus, I don't, I'd call it pre-chorus. We have this. So. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want to go. Basically, again, same chords. Which is not the good thing about the song is the chords just stay the same. The rhythm though, we're going down, down, up, down, 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 slap, up. So now, before you try this, make sure you realize that I'm pulsing these chords so that's kind of bum bum. It's not ba ba. They're not sustained. They're short. 
because I pulsed this hand in, watch. You see that? You hear how they're short? I know the open strings still ring. They're obviously gonna ring because I'm not blocking them, but these middle three, they pulse. Same with every chord. Okay. So again, we're going down, down, slap, up, down, down, slap. Just work on the first two chords first. Then, when you're ready, add the other two. Just play it slowly like this. For those of you that like to sing as well, uh, this is a little tricky to sing and play at the same time, so just kind of work out where each word lands. So this first part, no, no matter, no. So you sing no sort of in between the second strum and the slap. No, you hear that? No matter, no matter. And you sing ma on the up. So, no matter. No matter where I go. Oh, you wouldn't have an up on the G. So, no matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter how long I So, it's quite hard to sing and play this if you do it a little slower, but not too slow. If you do it too slow, your brain won't be able to kind of feel the music. But just slow it down. Enough so that it doesn't confuse your brain, but it's easier to sing, okay? Um, this is the, the, probably the only hard part trying to sing and play at the same time is this. Some of you might find it easy to play faster and sing. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. Always make sure this hand kind of keeps in time to the rhythm. Do you see that? It's kind it's always moving. Up and down, down, up, 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 bum, 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 bum. It makes it much easier to get the ups in the right place and to sing because if this is just on autopilot and your subconscious is just wiggling away, then you have more brain space to sing, okay? And even if you're not singing, you have more brain space to just feel the music, you know? So watch, this is moving. Down, up, down, up. I'll go even slower so you can see what I mean. Down, down, up, down, down, slap. Down, down, up, down, down, slap. See that? Always moving. Okay. Uh, now it's the same thing in the second part of this chorus. Um, so that... We're still moving this hand all the time. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna emphasize certain beats. I want you to emphasize down, up, down, up, slap, up. Down, up, down, up, slap, up. Down, up, down, up, slap, up. Down, up, down, up, slap. But keep it moving. Okay, it's, it's hard to keep that hand moving when you're trying to think about emphasizing these beats, but honestly, just try and do it anyway because it is so helpful when you're trying to sing. You see that even when I'm not strumming, it's moving. So down, up, down, up, slap, up, down, down, up, slap. Up. You kind of emphasize that second up. Yeah. So. Oh no, no, I will never get over you. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. That makes sense. So that's the busy part. Okay. Now, when we get to this second verse, I don't want you to go back to that. That first verse rhythm is just, it doesn't really work because we've got this momentum going now, the drums have kicked in. We can't just go back to boring P 
piano sound, right? So let's just keep the chorus rhythm kind of going for this verse. I remember the freckles on your back and the way that you used to make me laugh. You hear how it's the same? The only difference is instead of playing really loudly, I'm playing really soft. You can even kind of put your palm against the strings. Just to make it soft, okay? So for the whole of us too, you can do this just the chorus rhythm, just really quiet and soft. If you want to play quiet, you just kind of go through the strings with less force. You squeeze the pick less. Whereas when you want to play louder, you squeeze that pick a bit more because there's more kind of force going through the strings. So you need to have a better grip on it when you're playing loudly. Okay, when it's quieter, softer grip. Okay. So that's verse two. That's basically all we need to know for this song. Just let me just break down a couple of extra things uh, to do with structure and stuff. So um, obviously we have another pre-chorus. So we have another. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter how long it go, I'm always gonna want you back. Okay. Then we have another chorus. Now this this last part that I want to teach you is this It's like a guitar line, right? So we have Now I'm going to teach you what the guitarist actually does. He does this on an electric guitar I'm going to show you anyway, and then I'll show you how to kind of put it into the chords So if it's just you and a guitar, you can still play this lead line so on the electric guitar, this is how you would play it. You would do upstrokes. Because you're kind of still doing that down, up, down, up stuff. Up, 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 up. So one, two, three, four, it goes one. Up, 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 up. Okay, it's really hard to bend on an acoustic. So you want first finger. On the E string, 8th fret. And remember, these are all upstrokes, apart from the bend. Okay, so, first finger, and then, third finger is 10th fret on the B string. If you have a look at the tab as well, you can see this. E string, B string. And then we move down a little bit, we have first finger, 7th fret. Second finger, 8th fret. So, back again. We go back to that same thing again. And then to finish, we have like a double stop. It's, this is called a double stop on the electric guitar. Okay, so first finger 12th fret, third finger 15th fret, and using your uh, middle finger to help push that third finger up, you're gonna bend it. But the first finger stays there, so you hear that? First finger stays there on the 12th fret, but these two bend the 15th fret up on the B string. Okay, it's really hard on the acoustic. Now to get that vibrato, which gives it a bit more emotion and a bit more, how should I say, just, it just makes it cooler. <laughs> You want to, again, use your middle finger to help the third finger. Just kind of pulse it. You're basically bending it up and down really quickly. You can do it here as well. If you had an electric, it'd be easier. Okay, so that's the lead line. Uh, if you want to add it to the chords, that's a different story, so. So we do the same kind of rhythm as the chorus. Except the F is going to be down, down. 
Okay, so just hear that lead line in your head. So the notes are now lower. Okay, so this is quite difficult to add into the chord. So when you're doing your ups in this rhythm, down, up, down, up, up, those last two ups is where the melody needs to be. So try and land on the B string and then the G string. So that makes sense. So you go down, up, down, up, up. And then you do the same thing again with your G shape. B string, G string. Okay. Now it's quite hard on the E minor to make it sound, it doesn't sound right. Just sounds a bit weird, so I don't bother on the E minor. I just keep doing the chord but on the air you get that kind of note that's up here within the chord so you can just play it down down so all together Okay, does that make sense? So that's quite tricky to come up on the right string, the B string, then the G string pretty much every time. So the last part we want to learn to this song is the bridge and then that, how it goes into the last chorus. So again, it's the same chords. So this is, you know, even when I say I moved on, you know, even though I know that you're gone, you know, even when I hear been wrong. You know, even when I say I moved on, you know, even though I know that you're gone, all I think about is where I went wrong. Yeah, I still dream for you. No matter where I go, I'm always gonna want you back. No matter where I go. Okay, so the bridge is just, I'm basically having this kind of. So this constant and it gets louder and louder. So to start soft, you put your hand against the strings. You hear that? It's nice and soft because the bottom of my wrist is kind of resting on the bass notes. So I'm still, it's constantly down, up, down, up. Okay, but I'm still trying to emphasize that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. And even when I say I move on, you know, even though I know that you're gone, you know, think about it's where I went wrong. Then we repeat, you know, even when I say I move on, you know, even though I know that you're gone, all I think about is where I went wrong. Yeah, I still dream for you, no matter where I go, I was gonna want you back. No matter how long you're you can just finish on a chorus. Oh, no. 